explanation. Across the course of this semester, I'm going to ask you, as my students, to undertake something new. Traditionally, in my classes, I do a show of hands, I do an interactive element where I ask questions and I interrogate you, and I usually do the hands up if, and go through each option. This semester, I'm going to do something different, and I'm going to need your help to do this. What I'm going to provide for you are three cards. These are already in stock. You don't have to do anything other than use them. They'll be given out in the first of the lectures, and I'll ask you to bring these to each of the classes from here on to the end of the semester. At that point, you can decide if you want to keep them, you may possibly want to become a soccer referee. You may decide that you don't want the memory of the subject whatsoever, so you can give the cards back to me. We'll work that out. But during the semester, here's what I'd like to see happen. If I'm asking a yes or no question, for yes, I'd like you to hold up the green card. For no, I'd like you to hold up the red card. And the yes or no questions will be things like, how do you want... Do you want to cover this topic, or do you, need a, do you need to go over this topic again? The vote will be held in parallel. So instead of asking for green cards first, then red cards, it will be, please make your decision, and then hold up your cards. If, of course, you are uncertain as to what you would like to do, choose, you may hold up the yellow card. The second thing I'd like to see you do with these cards, and this is going to be an important element for you and for me, is I'd like you to use the amber card to tell me if you're not following the class. Now as a lecturer, this is a big ask. This is me going and saying, call me up. Say, hey, I'm not following, or I'm lost, or you're going too fast, or I don't get it. I prefer not to get red carded for terrible puns or bad jokes because they are part of my repertoire, but I'll even accept that. The main thing is, if you are at any point in one of my lectures feeling lost, confused, you're not sure what's going on, put the card up. I can see that from the audience. I can track that and now I know to either call a halt, backtrack, query, slow it down, I can use this as a signal, but I'll need your help. If you don't hold the cards up, then I'm not going to know. Or, worse, if I don't see one of these, or several of these, during a presentation, I'm going to assume everything's fine, the pace is good, and you know what's going on. Finally, with the cards, I'd also like you to consider over the course of the semester, how they work for you. I'm going to ask for feedback at the end, but if you find during the semester that there's something you want to say, you want to pass comment on it, let me know, catch me at the end of a class, during a break, or throw me an email. It is an experiment. It is new. And I'm doing this because I think it can work, but I'm also doing this because I want to see some of the pressures that I put on you as students during the discussions be removed. A lot of the time when I'm asking you to put hands up if, I'm putting a lot of social pressure on you. I'm getting people to look around the room and say, well, who went, you know, who's voted this, who's voted that? By putting the vote in parallel, and I can now do three questions, I can do three things. It can be solo assignment, group assignment, looking for group. It can be answer A, answer B, answer C. I can get you to vote in parallel, vote at the same time, and take down that pressure. So you're all making your decisions, and you're all delivering that information at once, so there's no chance to look around and say, oh, you know, what are they going to think? What do they think if? So, if you would be so kind as to assist during the semester by bringing the cards along each week, having them out and having them ready. Be able to vote, be able to participate, be able to flag if it's going okay or if it's not.